We have a special video for you. We are literally gonna cover everything you need to launch your SMA, to find clients, to outreach to them, to actually do sales and even deliver so that you could build a real business, build a successful SMA business. Everything I share with you are gonna be the exact principles that have helped me and my business partner do over $25 million in sales. And I promise you, you will get some value. So get your notepad out, get your pen, and let's jump into it. So Nick, now that we got the calls, we got the sales, now that we know those things. So the biggest question we have for SMMA, what's your outreach method? So right now what we're doing that's really working is we're using a few different outreach methods. So number one, we do do cold email. We also still have people that do cold calls and they will call people that show interest from the cold emails. We do run ads and then we also have partnerships. So the, the method that we follow is called the rain method. So we do referrals. We have a referral system, advertising. We do run ads. We promote. Okay. Integrated partnerships. These are people that partner with us that send us clients. They send us leads every single month. Then we have network partnerships. This is where we actually get a part of networks or communities and we're an authorized service provider. And those are the main things that we're doing right now to ensure that we have a durable business and we have different types of leads coming into our business on a consistent basis. Amazing. So, you know, how can people keep track of everything that's going on? Do you have a system? Do you have people keeping track of all these tabs? How do you do it personally? So the way that we do it is we use something called the CRM. Right now we're using uh, one called Go High Level. If you actually check in the description, you'll find uh, there's actually um, a program there where you can get access and kind of see all the different tools and softwares we use by clicking that link down there in the description. With that being said though, you wanna have a CRM. A CRM is a place where you store your contacts because a lot of the deals that you do will not happen on the first conversation. It might take four, five, six, seven, eight conversations. So you wanna make sure that you're storing those in one place that's uh, simple to access. Amazing, amazing. And I know that a lot of people use a lot of platforms. They use TikTok, they use Facebook, and with Instagram, which a lot of people hop on it, do you recommend um, outreaching with Instagram? Um, Instagram is something where we're not doing a ton of outreach because it will cap you to a certain amount per an account. It can be used and, and you know, I've specifically used it to really reach out to people that I really want to do business with, but I like to do methods that are more scalable. So like we'll outreach to five, 10, 15,000 people in a day. And just from the sheer volume, we're going to get opportunities from that versus like on Instagram, you're capped at the number of messages that you could actually send on a daily basis. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely. So, you know, with in conclusion with outreach, what's the biggest takeaway that you've took from your experience in outreaching? The biggest realization I had when I was doing outreach was I realized that there is the skill that's involved, but more outflow equals more inflow. So if I went and rather than me just doing outreach on myself, if I got 10, 15, 20 people to do it, we're going to get more opportunities and more opportunities means we're going to get in front of more potential clients and we're going to eventually do more deals. So really the main thing that I track is the amount of outflow that we do on a daily basis. So I want to know how many calls we're making, how many, how much time are we spending talking to people that don't know us. And those are two of the main metrics that I look at, especially on the outreach side. Awesome. Thank you, Nick. And so we've got the, the data of how to outreach and now people want to know how can we deliver and how can we fulfill the stuff that we provide for SMMA? So let me ask you one of our most asked questions. How could you deliver the best services in SMMA? So when you're looking to deliver, especially if you're brand new, you want to, you want to understand business and how it really works. And what I mean by that is this, when you look at Amazon, Uber, Airbnb, did Airbnb own all the houses that they rented out to people? No, they connected people that wanted to rent houses with people that had houses. Did Uber own all the cars that people get rides in? No, they connected people that wanted rides to people that, you know, had a car and were willing to drive. Same thing with Amazon when they first got started. They had buyers and they would connect them to brands and products. So when you're first getting started, one thing you can do is you can find someone that already does social media management and basically have them have their rate. Let's say it's 300 bucks a month and then you can offer it to a business owner for $1,000. Now you're making 700 profit 
on that deal. And that's just an example. Like there's actually a software that you can use agencybox.com. that will allow you to tap into a uh, Y label fulfillment center, which means that there's all of these different services and basically white label means that someone's going to go ahead and be a service provider. They're going to do the delivery, but you're going to still have your company name and brand on the front end. And that's something that is really, really useful because when I first got started in my marketing agency, I hired 20 people, hired someone to do video editing, SEO, web design, graphic design, run ads. And, and I had a very large amount of overhead, which means that I had to pay a lot for payroll every two weeks. And the problem with that is, is let's say I have a video guy on my team, he's five grand a month and I don't sell any video clients that month. Well, now I'm paying five grand a month and I'm actually losing money on that deal. So this method where you connect and you partner with people is something that is extremely useful. And you can do this by looking on Upwork or Fiverr, or these different sites. That's not the best way to do it. There are ways where you could do it for a fraction of the cost. Like I said, you could actually get with the white label software that has, and this is one of their main specialties, is they will do the client fulfillment for you and they're gonna operate as your support team on the back end, so you don't have to worry about any of the technical work or client fulfillment. On top of that though, I would master one skill set, one thing that you get great at, so you have that thing that you're doing that's 100% profit, basically, the thing that you master, and it's one of, one of your core services that you offer business owners. Correct, correct. So I know you brought up that, you know, um, in the beginning, you built a team, you know, your overhead was a lot of money, you know, you were even losing money. But for someone that's starting their SMMA, you know, how can you deliver organic traffic to your agency? So or organic traffic is how most I mean, most agencies don't necessarily have organic traffic. The way you would get organic traffic is you would actually make content for your agency and you would establish yourself as a brand or industry leader in a specific space. So for example, let's just use this as an example. I work with people in the health space, gyms, studios, yoga studios. Well, I'm going to make content about how to get more clients for gyms and yoga studios. I'm going to go and speak on stages where gyms and yoga studios go for conferences. And what happens is, is through word of mouth, people start looking up your brand, your company website from the content that you've made on social media. And now on social media, there's something called SEO and the videos you make, they actually pop up when people search about that. So if you made a video, how to get more clients in your gym in less than 72 hours, people are going to look that up and then they're going to come across your brand. So that's ultimately what you have to do long-term to get more people coming in. And it's powerful to do that. It's also something that's going to take a long time to do. So that's why for us, I like the ability. I like the power to be able to launch an advertising campaign, connect and reach out to an integrated partner. And then boom, overnight, I have leads coming into my business just like that. So, you know, you brought up uh, great points, you know, but how could you fulfill all your clients? Um, yeah, so with fulfillment, that's really important, right? So what you wanna eventually do is have specific services that you know you deliver every single time. And some of these services will have guarantees, others won't, but you want it to be a streamlined process where A, B, and C is gonna happen every single time and that's how you scale, right? Uh, with that being said, you will have clients that are hard to work with. You're gonna have clients that don't do their part. So the main thing to making sure that you're meeting the expectations on your end is deliver everything you said you're gonna deliver and also set the client's expectations right, right? So for example, one thing that somebody can do when they're doing a sales call is they could say, hey, I'm gonna guarantee that you make, you know, 10X profit or, you know, 10K a month from the ad campaign. And the reality is, you, you want to go and make sure that you're delivering something that you know you can deliver and stand behind it, right? So for us, for an example, I'm going to give you an example of an agreement. We might do a deal where we're going to go and launch the ads, build out the ads, build the campaigns, and then we actually get about 400 to 500 sales reps uh, that apply to work with us every week. We have a sales staffing firm as well. So we'll even place an appointment setter or maybe someone to do deals if needed. And point being is we have our deliverables where we're gonna build the funnel, we're gonna make the ads, we're gonna edit the ads, we're gonna script everything, and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna work with us and, and this is how it works. You're gonna pay our baseline amount, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand bucks a month, five thousand bucks a month, doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a profit share on any of the money we make you past five thousand a month. 
So that way that we're both incentivized, we're getting paid for the work we're actually doing. And there's like that, that upside potential where it's a win-win for everybody involved in that deal. Thank you, Nick, you know, especially for sharing everything that you've had with the experiences with you building seven figure multi-million dollar business for SMMA. So all these nuggets, all these gems you've shared, I want to say thank you for taking the time to answer all of our viewers top questions. So appreciate it, Nick. Definitely. And for anybody still watching right now, uh, we do have different resources in the description. You can check those out. With that being said, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.